could see you were a man of distinction, a real big spender. Republicans will get together on Wednesday and choose their chairman of their uh, House committees, including the most powerful committee of all, the House Appropriations Committee. So uh, who are they talking about installing as the chairman of the committee that is in charge of your wallet? So uh, well, I want to ask you, you've been known as the Prince of Pork. Have you changed your ways? Well, uh, sure. The, the, the electorate told us, I think, that the, the number one thing they want is to cut spending. Uh, that's what we'll do. But, I mean, you, you had over $300 million in earmarks just in the last Congress. Uh, do you think you have credibility with people when you say you're going to cut spending now? Well, we'll, we'll, we'll prove that. We'll show them. Do, do you have any regrets over some of what you've accomplished? I mean, you look at you know, the, uh, the airport in your hometown, $17 million. It's, it's, it's not even used by commercial air traffic right now. Well, Wouldn't you like to have fun? I'm proud of that word. But the nation's needs now come first, and we have to cut spending and trim the deficit, hopefully get down to paying the debt. And are you really the guy to do that, though, given how much you so. brought to your own? I your think own, so. uh, um So to get chosen by the uh, steering committee, did you promise you were going to change your ways and, you know? Sure, absolutely. So no more earmarks? You've no earmarks. them off? No more earmarks. $300 million in the last Congress, but no more in the next and Congress. And I'll be the enforcer of the moratorium. up our friend from Kentucky Hal Rogers 135 earmarks 246 million dollars